Some people ran to the stage, others sat in shock. Instead of seeing Salman Rushdie deliver a lecture as planned, they unwittingly watched him get stabbed in the neck and stomach. He was stabbed about six to eight times before they were able to grab a hold of the perpetrator. People nearby tackled the suspect, then helped police take him into custody. Those attending to Rushdie raising his legs to redirect blood flow. Just devastated at seeing this happen to someone I respect. The 75-year-old was taken away on a stretcher and airlifted to hospital for emergency surgery. The man arrested identified as 24-year-old Hadi Matar from New Jersey. Like I said, it's very early. We don't have any indication of a motive at this time. An acclaimed author with a target on his back, Rushdie faced death threats and lived under police protection for years. Ever since his novel, The Satanic Verses, in the late 80s enraged some Muslims who considered it blasphemous. Iran's then Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei issued a decree calling for Rushdie's killing and a $3 million bounty soon followed. Decades later, Rushdie wondered whether such a book would still find a publisher. The violence of the of the assault that publishers and booksellers faced in those years scared people, you know, and, and I think it, that, that fear is still there. In much of the world, he's celebrated as a champion for freedom of expression, including on a visit to Toronto in 2017, where novelist Randy Boyagoda remembers Rushdie didn't want security guards. He wanted to demonstrate um, really to the world that he was carrying on with his life and his work as a novelist foremost. In the apparent calm of Western New York, Rushdie was set to speak about writers facing persecution. Instead came a reminder, he's still a target himself. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.